Carbon nanotubes are very special nanostructures that are used in nanosensor technology. Carbon nanotube is a tube uh, shape material made up of carbon and having a diameter that is measured at nanoscale, nanometer scale. A carbon nanotube uh, is a rolled up graphene strip um, which forms closer and closer cylinder. The tube length can be many millions of times longer than its constituent diameter. The carbon nanotubes show a unique combination of stiffness, strength, intensity compared to the other fiber materials which usually lack one or more of these properties. The thermal and electrical conductivity are also very high and comparable to other conductive materials. Carbon nanotubes can be single rolled, namely one rolled up graphene sheet or multi rolled, namely several rolled up graphene sheets. The properties of carbon nanotubes have caused researchers and many companies to consider using them in many fields of applications including sensing applications as we will focus in the current class. Let's now see how carbon nanotubes could uh, this be described in relation to their const uh, constituent graphene sheets. A graphene sheet can be rolled up in few angles with respect to the graphene lattice. Different rolls end up in different atomic orientation of the atoms on the surface of the carbon nanotube and each orientation have unique electrical, optical and chemical properties. Single wall carbon nanotube is expressed in terms of one dimensional unit cell, A1 and A2 which are seen on the screen, are unit vectors defined by the dimensions and the directionality of the unit cell. The characteristic length which denoted by the letter A stand for carbon-carbon bond, length and the related number indexes and the direction of the vector. The circumferential vector CH, defined by a linear combination of the unit vectors A1 and A2 where N and M are integers. The unit vector of the uh, nanotube is defined in similar way. The way graphene sheet is wrapped is represented by a pair of indexes N and M. The, integer, the integers N and M denote the vectors along the two directions in the honeycombed crystal lattice of the graphene. If m equals zero, the nanotubes are called zigzag nanotubes. If the n equals m, the nanotubes are called armchair. Otherwise, they are called chiral. The radius of an ideal nanotube can be calculated from its n and m indices. As follows, uh, the size of the circumferential vector is calculated just like a circle. The circumference of the nanotube is 2 pi r. The size of the vector c can be calculated by the characteristic length a and the integers n and, m are, n and m denote the vector c. And this movie summarizes the structure of the carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes are cylindrical elongated structures uh, with a diameter of one to a nanometer and uh, can be uh, they consist of one or more they uh, they just the uh, graphite planes rolled in, in a tube hemispherical according to the definition the base specification nanotube is scaled down by a method of folding the graphene plane
The electrical properties of nanotubes tubes depends on how the hexagons are oriented along the axis of the Q. The hexagons are highlighted in the image seen, uh, as in seen in here. An armchair carbon nanotube is better conductor than copper. Normally used in electrical wires or any other material. The next two possible orientations of the hexagons in carbon nanotubes share electrical properties similar to those of the semiconductors. Another interesting property of the carbon nanotubes is that their electrical resistance changes significantly when other molecules attach themselves to their carbon atoms. Carbon nanotubes can have six orders of magnitude higher electrical conductivity than copper because of the symmetry of the uh, graphene. The unique electronic also the electronic electronic properties can be tailored throughout the external magnetic field and application of mechanical deformation. And also carbon nanotubes have tunable band gap. As can be uh, indicated from the graph where the band gap of the carbon nanotube is smaller for larger carbon nanotubes radius. Also, it is evidence that the carbon nanotubes have high current capacity and also they have excellent field emission where high aspect ratios and small tip radius of the curvature are ideal for the field emission in this case. Carbon nanotubes do, don't have only imp impressive electrical properties as described before but also special mechanical properties. As a matter of fact, each carbon atom is connected through a strong chemical bond to the three neighboring atoms. Because of these strong bonds, the strength of graphite and carbon nanotubes is one of the largest of any known material. It has been found that the carbon nanotubes and mainly the single wall carbon nanotubes are stiffer than steel and are very resistant to damage from physical forces. Also, it was found that pressing on the uh, tip of a tube, nanotube, will cause the nanotube to bend, but without any damage to the tip, as seen in the image over here. When the force is removed, the tip returns to original state. This property makes the carbon nanotubes very useful as probe and for very high resolution scanning probe microscopy. Carbon nanotubes may be the best heat conducting material that man ever made known ultra small single wall. These ultra small single wall carbon nanotubes have ever been to shown that superconductivity below 20 Kelvin, several studies suggest that these exotic strains already heralded for their unparalleled strength and unique ability to adopt to adopt the electrical properties of either semiconductors or perfect metals, maybe someday also one can find applications as the miniaturization of the heat conducts will be approached as well. Carbon nanotubes can be used also as additive for polymers. Um, in the image presented on the screen, carbon nanotubes are dispersed in an epoxy resin which can be molded into different structures. By infusing the polymer with electrically conductive carbon nanotubes and monitoring the electrical resistance at different points in the structure, it is possible to pinpoint the location and the length of even the tiniest stress-induced crack. Once a crack is located, it can be sent a short electrical charge to the area in order to heat up the carbon nanotubes and the result of that that transfer is emitted at well brink and warning on the presence of a crack on the surface. 